My friends, it's Coach Vig, and this is part two of my favorite, favorite foam rolling exercises. Part one is up there, about section below. And don't forget, get your hard foam roller from Lux Fit. Link is in the about section below. By the by, check out my new Yoga for Sports complete training program up there, and the playlist is also down below. Yoga for Sports with me, Coach Vig. This all goes so well together. All right, we're gonna take this foam roller, we're gonna use it to break up some fascia, release tension in the body, smooth out the muscles, and it also feels really good. Unless we hit those really tight spots. And that feels even better. Okay, foam roller down. Do this before your workout, during, after. Do it at night. I usually foam roll at night up in my loft when I'm watching old Alfred Hitchcock films. That's the way I roll. Let's begin with the hamstring. Okay, options here. I'll give you, I'll always give you a couple options for this. Hamstring, right here. You can take your opposite foot flat and you start to roll. Now, foam rolling is an acquired taste. It's a very personal thing. So when you find a spot that is really tight, that is really giving you some pushback, I highly recommend sitting on that spot. That might mean just sitting there breathing into it or rocking side to side. You can even make circles, little knots that you find. So hands are down. A lot of the ones we're doing in this video too, you're working your core quite a bit. Your abdominals, lower back, hips and glutes. So stay lifted. Don't drop down, stay nice and tall. Now as we're rolling, there's all these neat little options we can do. One we can turn out a little further, tacking the side, the abductors, and the um, IT band, that thick fibrous tissue on the outside. We uh, hit that one really, really hard in the first video. So back and forth, I roll it right here to the back of my knee, and then right Oh, right underneath my tush, underneath my glute right there. Good, side to side. Of course, we switch sides. And go. Another option, you can keep doing this if you like, or you can take both the legs out right here and roll till your heart's content back and forth. Again, turn out, hit a little to the side. You can turn in, getting the adductors a little bit. Yeah, I guess we, eh, not really the groin area, that's a little further up. Or you can continue doing one leg. I'm going to do a few more breaths here. Flex the foot, and you get a little deeper um, roll as the hamstring contracts a little further. So hamstrings right there, wearing them down, massaging them nice and good, breaking up the, the fascia, the blocks, the... Uh, areas where circulation is not happening. Then we move right on to the calves, our gastronemius right here. Let's <laughs> get serious. Again, you can do it this foot flat and we roll. You can draw the toes towards you. When you hit a spot that feels like a hand grenade, take it side to side. You can do a little pulse or make circles, okay? Now this cylinder I'm using, it's it's hard. So I'm rolling down to about my Achilles right there. Is there no one else? Who are you? Anyway, so that's from Troy. <laughs> we take little, little segues here, tangents, diverge in the wood. So do both. Again, like the other one, you can really lift here, work in the core, and roll back and forth with both legs, turn out, hitting outside there. Ooh. I'm slipping a little bit. And then of course we switch to the other side. So do one at a time, do both, do one at a time and then do both. Depends on your, you know, what your training is, what your activity level is, where you're holding the tension. But I think we all agree the calves are a hot button area sometimes get looked over. They don't have the same PR machine that the hamstrings have, or the hip flexors, or the low back. But there we are. Okay. Ah, it says calves. We're going on to the shin. It's not the musical group, but these little babies right here. Going to relieve some pressure. They can hold also a lot of tension. If you ever get a massage and they start pushing 
along the outside of the shin bone right here, you're going to feel some goodness, that meaty area in there. Let me turn here. I'm going to roll right off the hill. Again, one at a time. You can bring your other knee down. Take the hands in front and roll back and forth, seeking out those tight areas. Turn in a little bit, turn out. Right, Addy? That's a beautiful spot. By the way, make sure you check in below. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. Let me know you're here. Give me your feedback from this. Also, any questions you have, check in below. Now, if you're doing both, there it is. We slide it back and forth. This always reminds me of uh, a scene from Christmas Vacation. <sighs> Can you guess what it is? Later, dudes. <sighs> or uh, Trading Places with uh, <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Back and forth. Hmm. Airborne, huh? Good. Really, I'm going up to the knee, going down to the, the ankles. <sighs> and then if you want, you could drop the other knee and, of course, do it on this side right here. All right, how are we for time? Doing well, doing well, my friends. Back and forth, relieve that pressure, break it up. Get a great visual going, too, of breaking up the knots and the blocks, areas where blood is not circulating. Okay, shake it out. Now, these last two are definitely yoga-inspired as well. I teach a lot of yoga, I film a lot. You can always type in Sean V, yoga on YouTube or on Google or Bing and I'll pop up all over the place. So we're gonna maximize what we have. This is a pigeon. So we're gonna do pigeon pose and add the foam roller. Can it be done? Why yes, it can. Okay. Bring that right knee forward. Open the hip. So pigeon pose, we're sliding the left leg back. Now place the roller right, it's on the left leg that's right up here. Hip flexor, quad. So we're gonna open that front hip and then rock back and forth. You can turn in, you can turn out. You can come down here if you wish. Grass on the face. So we're sinking down into that right hip and glute and knee. Love it. Keep extending that left leg back. You can even take it all the way back if you want onto the shins. That's always an option too. Okay, then of course, other side. Let me turn this way here. A little better. I like to be in the sun. It's chilly today. Got the cap on, right? Got the dog. Uh-oh, she's got that look in her eyes. Like a Rick Springfield song. The leash on just in case she decides to try to bolt. So left hip open, hands down, forearms down if you like, rolling it back and forth. Keep an eye out for horses back here. People to ride. And turn out and turn in. And of course go all the way down to the shins if you like. How's that feel? Good. Stay connected. Keep talking to me. You know how these feel. There's always a lot of surprises. You don't realize you hold a lot of tension in some of these areas until you get down and do the work. Okay, one more on the shins. That's your pigeon. And we're going to finish with... This is a child's pose stretch. Also going to hit our tendons in our forearms. So I'm, give me a moment. I'm going to tuck in my shirt. Shoulders back and down. Take the knees wide. I'll take them to the outside edges because I don't want to go onto the trail. And then we're going to stretch that spine too. Walk that roller forward and then bring the forearms down. And we're going to roll it back and forth. So your core is working at pulling you back and forth as Addie eats grass. Remember, grass is legal in Colorado, so she can eat all she wants. Now, the, the tendons, you can keep the palms flat and then start to move them a little bit. Turn the palms to face each other. You can also turn them up. Really stretch it out. 
decompress the spine any chance you can get. A couple more breaths. It's very provocative, perhaps, <laughs> but only the elk can see us. And then do one final long stretch. Let me turn into the sun for this. Let's do the long stretch. So open the knees, hold it out here. You can grab hold for dear life on the roller if you like, or just stretch it, a little pulse back and forth, perhaps. Let that lower back release. All right, my friends, that's it. That's part two of your foam rolling exercises. Get your very own foam roller in the about section below from Lux Fit. Nice discount on that. And this one, this cylinder, is really hot. <laughs> Okay, let's bring that back in. This cylinder is very hard. That's what you want to really press in and break up that fascia. Release, release, release. Check in below, leave your feedback. If this video helped, I appreciate it if you give it a like and subscribe now to never miss a workout. Addy will have something to say about that later, I'm sure. And uh, get on my Yoga for Sports program. It's brand new, link is up there in the About section below. And if you're into reading, well, this is for you. On my best-selling book, Power Yoga for Athletes, over 100 yoga poses for all ages and fitness levels, as well as 25 complete yoga flows and training logs for all the major sports. Get your copy today, or perhaps you do better with four copies. <laughs>